Hey YouTubers. Well, today is our Sunday time change day, so had a little difficulty with that this morning, but nonetheless, it'll be kind of nice to have a little extra daylight this evening. Just that nice, fresh kind of sign for spring to start. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of um, neat little tricks and tools that I use. Um, just little tiny things that I think really help enhance um, my eyes and uh, my skin. The first tool, and I've talked about this before, is um, purchasing a good spoolie stick. And there's several reasons for the spoolie stick, not just for your eyebrows, but also your eyelashes. And I think a good spoolie stick is really key. This one happens to be, the writing is kind of worn off. Um, it's a Sonia Kashuk spoolie stick, but it has great gripping ability and it really does brush those brows up and helps just shape them up even if they're, you know, kind of unruly and sticking out a little. I have thin brows, but they just kind of go every which way. And I find that this spoolie brush um, really does a nice trick. And the other um, way that I use this the spoolie brush, and this was suggested by um, a couple of different YouTubers that I saw one video on this, um, just using a spoolie stick to kind of straighten out your lashes, um, oh gosh, several, several months ago, and then I just saw a new one by Golden Girl, and it's the same technique that I use, and before I apply any um, mascara to my eyelashes, I just brush through the lashes up and down just to make sure that there's no uh, knots or lashes that are sitting on top of each other and it works great. Just be really careful when you get close to your lash line that you don't poke yourself in the eye, which I did yesterday. But I do that um, quite often and I feel like it just kind of releases maybe any little um, deposit that might be resting on your eyelashes. So it's kind of a neat tool to have and I know a lot of spoolie sticks that are attached to eyebrow pencils or um, definers. They're loose and we usually end up losing them. So a good investment. It'll last you a long, long time. The other tip is and this is a Tweezerman brush. It's very thin, and um, I kind of keep it in this little case so I can just always pull it out. But what I like to do with this, you know, a lot of times when I'm applying um, like corrector under my eye or um, using a um, highlighter under the eye, that might have a doe foot on it, or if you just even have to tap a little bit of the product on your finger. I always use my ring finger because it's a, it has a light touch. I don't think it's as strong as using the other fingers in this very delicate, sensitive area. But what I have found is once I deposit the corrector or the highlighter under my eye, I like to use a brush because with the brush, I can really get super close to my lash line and just pat it and spread it around where I want it to go. I feel like I have more control than I do with the pad of my finger. And when I have it distributed evenly all around my eyes as to where I want all of it, then at the end, I'll just take my fourth finger with the pad of my finger and just tap it in. The rest just to smooth it in. Now, today actually, I'm kind of excited because I didn't use any under eye corrector um, or any highlighter. I, I just was just trying to um, just kind of keep my skin as um, fresh and clear as I could just to let it relax a little but it's not like I don't have anything on because 
I am wearing my Rodin and Fields Enhancement Mineral Peptide Powder. Um, I have no liquid foundation on. I have no BB cream on. I have no CC cream on. I have no corrector on at all. Just this powder. And I love it. This powder is in the light. If you can see it, it's pretty light. But it absorbs into my skin. The peptides in the powder are excellent to help erase or mask those um, lines. And it's really good for your skin. So I am really loving this. And it's such a refreshing feeling to know that I washed my face, did my whole skincare regimen, and then sat down to do my makeup and how quick and easy it was just with the powder. And like I said, just want to keep it light today. Um, so really loving that, Rodin and Fields. And also, just to let you know, on Thursday, March 16th at 7 o'clock Central Time, um, if you would like to join me on Facebook, it is my business bash launch with Rodin and Fields. And again, it's on Thursday, March 16th at 7 o'clock Central Time. Just message me, send me a note, and I'll give you more um, details on that. But So I love this. So I have this on as my base and my foundation. I am wearing my MAC, and this is one of my new blushes. It's called ambering rose and I love it. I have that on and I put um, a little bit of my Chanel de Sol just um, bronzer lightly and um, a little bit of highlight Bobbi Brown. That's it. And of course my brows by Anastasia as always. And on my eyelashes, uh, I'll show you, I have no Oop, I see a little smudge of mascara there. I am not wearing any um, eyeshadow today. Um, and I did that again on purpose. Just want to kind of relax my eyes. And um, as I put did my skincare regimen this morning and put on my skin eye cream, I put it on a little bit thicker today and just want it to absorb in. But I do have the Bobbi Brown um, Smoky Eye Mascara. And um, I do like that. And I have been using the Lash Boost Serum by Rodin and Fields for about, um, I think this might be my 10th day. Now, I'm tracking my progress that I am going to share um, on YouTube. And I have stick fine straight lashes. But I noticed yesterday and today that after the application of mascara that my lashes do feel like they're a little bit, I don't know, have a little more body to them. So it's kind of hard now to tell. And um, I don't want to just say, oh yes, look at all these great voluptuous lashes and it only took a week because that is not the case. But I'm seeing slow progress every day, so um, I'm excited to share the end results with you on that. Oh, and on my lips, I am wearing my um, lipstick, uh, Lip Intensity in Driftwood. And um, as you can see, it's a really, really pretty color. And I just have that little outline of uh, it's my lip liner in Plum. So it's a really pretty combination, I think, together um, with the blush. So, But that's it for today. So enjoy your Sunday and try to go to bed an hour early so you don't feel like you got cheated out that hour. Um, until next time, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye.